having a fun time dancing, don't mind me. Hey gang, what's happening? I'm the Digital Nugget, and welcome back to Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Last time, we got our way into the palace library and found ourselves a map so that we can head through the Forbidden Isles. I don't know where it's going to take us, but it's going to take us somewhere, so let's get right back into it. So before we go see Risky Boots, now that we're back in Sequin, uh, Sequin, uh, Scuttle Town, not Sequin Town, why do I keep saying Sequin? I mean, Sequin Land. Yeah. So welcome back to the sh- well, welcome to the shop. Alright, so you can buy some stuff like potions, auto potions, pirate flares. Will be necessary, but we'll go over them later. Probably because I don't really need them too, too much. Not right now, anyway. Uh, monster milk, super monster milk, shampoo, and silky cream. I don't currently have enough to get one of each, so I'll just do a shampoo. Shampoo is, well, it's a hair product, so it increases our damage specifically so that you can, well, do more damage. It's not really specific what it tell. Well, actually, no, it probably did tell me what it does. Never mind. So, let's see. Shampoo. Upgrade your hair to deal more damage. It's pretty straightforward. Hair, hair care products bring up the effectiveness of our hair. So, we can now buy potions or something else. I'm going to go ahead and buy three of these because they are pretty good healing items. And, um, I guess we're good for now. So, yeah, that's all we need. Let's go see where, uh, where Risky went off to. I just need to talk to the save guy real quick. Saving the game because it's really fun. And here we are. Well, what took you so long? I'm sorry, I had to end the in, I had to end the episode. It was I'm getting a little long back there. I found this at the library, a map of the Forbidden Isles, just like you said. Huh? I guess the little good for nothing is good for something after all. I gave the forbidden map. So will you let me help? Only if you agree to do exactly what I say when I say it. The pirate master is my foe to contend with, not yours. And when this is over, we go our separate ways. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's a deal. Let's beat this guy together and save Sequin Land. Mmm, hold on. How do I know you're not gonna pull a fast one? Would I lie to you? Yes, you would. Say hello to the steam-powered oceanic tinker tub Mark II. Mark II? What happened to the first one? You happened to it! Get on board before I change my mind! And here we are. So, this one is not a connected world like the game before it. It is a separated world. You can go to all of the worlds as they are unlocked, explore them, and obtain anything and everything they have to offer. It'll tell you how many heart squids and tinker bats are at each one, so you know your completion status. Saliva Island doesn't have a lot, so it should be easy to find the two Tackle bats there. So, let's get started. Saliva Island. Da 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 da! Pulling into port. This is Saliva- This is it, Saliva Island. Unless we can find another map, this is the end of the line. I'm ready for anything! Where did you get those clothes? Below deck! There's all kinds of fun stuff to wear! Most of the clothes were much too roomy, though. Stay away from my personal effects! Gosh, I've never been so far from the mainland. It's pretty here. Don't be deceived. The Pirate Master draws power from this place. There's a den of evil hidden somewhere on this island. You're going to find it. What about you? You're not coming? Not this time. But I'm sure if we work together... I said no, and I mean it. I have my reasons. Oh, I see. You're scared. How dare you? I will gut you like a mackerel. Sheesh, learn to take a joke. 
and get out of those si out of that silly outfit. Ah, you're no fun. Yeah, ret to go. So, in reference to that bandana scene there, there was actually going to be a pirate outfit for Shantae. Uh, a lot of it, but it was dropped, of course. I don't know why. It would have looked really cool, I think. But some of the sprites are actually uh, visible in some of the animations for a lot of the upgrades. There's going to be one that I can show off pretty soon, but I'll have to get to it later when I actually obtain the upgrade. That was a mermaid, if you couldn't tell. You probably could. Mermaids are straightforward, they shoot bubbles out of their trident, and will duck away in a puddle of water that I don't know where it comes from, but it does. It comes from somewhere. And they just duck down in it to avoid damage. And these little crab boys, I don't know if they have a name, but they're a crab boy. Crab time. Let's see if I can just hit this thing. There you go. And I got shot immediately. And again! All the way down? Are you kidding me? Alright, fine. Guess I gotta climb it again. Alright, let's try that again. Jump. <sighs> Alright, listen here, you. I've had enough. Ah, dang it, I missed. There we go, got her. And that's another one down. Uh, we can go across this way. Let's see. One, two, three, and four. So these little statue boys exist. I don't know what they do just yet. Let's see what this... Hmm. I wonder what this statue is here for. Not sure. But we're currently taking damage, and I'm also low on health. Not to mention low on battery on my gamepad here. I'm going to see you guys in a little bit. I need to uh, switch out controllers before this dies on me. So, be right back. Alright, I'm back. Hey guys, what's up? I had to change controllers. The gamepad was dying. So back to work. Hello. Would you like a shave to shave a record of your journey? Yes. Shaving, please do not turn off the power. Shave complete. Oh, hello. What are you guys doing here? Hey girl, cute get up. You here for spring break? Huh? Us too, but look at this lame swimming hole. It's all dried up. I can't sunbathe without a proper pool. Psh! This place was a total ripoff. If we can't swim, we might as well eat. I'll get the ham all set up. Hmm. Let's see what happens if I do this. Oh. Okay. Guess we're gonna take that. Ham stink. Pretty much uh, any odor can be absorbed by the by the lamp. So that's neat. We can absorb odors and keep them with us. Things might go a little smoother. I'm not trying to use the D-pad this time. So, uh... I'm not sure where else we can go. Can we look at the map real quick? Um... Oh, okay. That's how we do it. Okay, map says we haven't gone up, so let's try to go up. Can we even go up? No. Uh, I'm trying. I need to go down. That's where I need to go. Yep, there was a thing down here. Don't worry about it. Hey, man, what's up? <laughs> Many years ago, I came to this island with my beloved bride to be. Only wish was to be joined in holy matrimony. But a horrible monster, a servant of the pirate master, found us. His gaze turned my beloved to stone. Now I can never leave her side. I just can't I take this ring so I so I can finally forget my sorrows. I got a ring. Gee, it looks pretty old. Well that sucks. Uh, onward. 
So we can go back up. Maybe this has a place that I can put it. I mean, random rings don't just get given to people for no reason. There's probably a place to put it. Either that or I can hork it. But I figure there's something uh, to put here. Hello. That's odd. There's a circular indention here. Attach the ring? Yes, we shall attach the ring. The ring clicks right into place, and now the uh, statues are glowing. We can hit them. But the ability to go up and down and left and right and stuff like that. Now, the thing with these is that each of them has a specific time that they last. So you need to remember the order as to how long the statues last for. The two on the end are the longest so that you can actually do platforming. So, I believe the order would be one, two, three, and then four. That way you can climb up before the middle one goes down, jump up and over to these. All right, platforming complete. Got some frog dudes over here. I think we can go ahead and show off an item from our uh, collection here. The bubble shield will protect you from all oncoming projectiles. It is one of my best friends because I do not like being hit by stupid projectiles that go astray. I'm not very good at ducking. So, just uh, use the bubble shield. It's awesome. So, let's just jump over here. Oop, see, there you go. Blocked it, like a boss. And then we just jump over here. There's another frog over here. We'll just take care of him. Maybe he'll drop some money or something. There you go. Frog time. Alright, let's see. Just gotta go over here. Get rid of this frog. And, uh, there's, uh, more of those dragons in the waterfall. Just gotta get, uh, gotta be careful of those, or they're gonna munch us. Alright, hold on. I need one of these. There you go. I would probably save the potions for later because uh, you're gonna get a lot more health and it's a full heal regardless of how few or many hearts you have, so. You don't wanna waste it. Well, that's odd, better remember that. Let's see, dum da 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 da. Oh, a snake fell out of the ceiling. That's weird. Also, we got this guy. It's a Giga Lumox. Wow, these things are enormous. Hmm, what's that sign say? Giga Lumox may become aroused by travelers smelling of ham. Release the ham stink? Yes. Release this the ham stink. This creature is a creature of simple needs. It smell ham, it want ham. Maybe a little bit uh, overly excited about having ham, especially since I don't even have any. I'm sorry, dude. You'll get some later. You're being a good boy. I think if we go this way, you gotta be really careful with that time, uh, with the timing on that. But yeah, there is a cackle bat in that little crevice. You can obtain it really easily if you just move over. And there you go. Second piece of dark magic. I have no idea how long this episode's been going on for. I had to cut quite a few things changing out controllers. So we will come down to where these two are. Hey girl, you got the water, tur water turned on. Let's all hit the pool. You said it, girlfriend. Ha! Ah. Yeah! What's this? My porcelain baby fresh skin is too much for the sun. Mine too, the light's bouncing off. Careful not to cross the beams! Oh. Oh, I see now. I got the petrify spell. Yay. Ooh, I know. Maybe... There are some practicalities for that. You did it! The pool is full again and it smells like bath salts. The water's really, really warm and kind of viscous. Ugh. 
I'm just gonna get on out of that because I know the truth. I wish they knew the truth. Ugh. Well, anyway, if you like this episode, please be sure to mash that like button, share your support, and ring the little bell to be notified when I post the next one. And as always, subscribe today to join the gang, and I will see you nuggets in the next one. Stay crispy and keep it digital.